G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. System setup and product review, all in one video. As I said in the Saturday promo uploaded earlier, we were going to take another crack at Solus 3 and I was going to give it the backyard IT treatment. Now I had a look at this operating system some months ago now and the reason that the video was never put onto the channel was because frankly I thought it was rubbish. The video was terrible as well. But the operating system was just rubbish. I did not like it. I had nothing but trouble with it. Um, I couldn't get it to work in a virtual environment for the product review, let alone putting it onto a physical machine turned into be a nightmare. I had to use the kill switch. I had to reboot it. I had... It was a nightmare. Now, a channel that subscribes to me, and I also subscribe to them, English Bob. G'day, Steve. Um, he thinks of it as the bee's knees of a Linux operating system. He loves it. And I thought, well, I've watched a few of his, you know, views and videos on it. I'll take another crack at it and we'll give it the backyard IT treatment. So we're going to do a full system setup and then we'll go and do a product review of it. Now the version I'm putting on to ESXi is Solus 3 Budgie. Um, there's also GNOME and Mate, or Matei, whatever you want to call it. But we're going to use Solus 3 Budgie. So we'll do a full system setup. I'll take you through the steps in getting it installed. The other problem I had was with, when I did it a number of months ago, the installer... I'm having a good morning talking at the moment, am I? <laughs> the installer was just a pile of rubbish in my experience. So we're going to see whether or not it's improved. And um, hopefully it'll be a uh, far better video than uh, than the um, the original one I shot on the phone. All right, let's get into it. All right, so here's our virtual machine for Solus Budgie Three. Quickly show you what we've got. So we've got four gig of RAM, which is all I use for. Uh, testing virtual operating systems and that. We've got a single dual core CPU, 73.2 gig thin provisioned hard drive, and our Solus 3 Budgie ISO. So let's uh, let's bring this up, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll tell you what, it's much easier now doing this sort of stuff with OBS than using the mobile phone and at least now you guys aren't getting dizzy <laughs> while I'm sitting there shaking the hell out of the mobile phone I still don't know why this is taking so long to boot we'll just do a flat out automatic boot we're not going to do custom anything I'm not going to worry about the SM bus I don't think it's that critical. Hasn't been in the past, but we'll we'll see what happens. All right, so we'll just uh, double check the um, connection information, make sure it got it. Ooh, got a high IP this time, didn't it? All right, let's do a straight install, and then we can do a full review of the operating system once it's installed. They don't have English Australia, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to have to find the location so that I get the right packs. You can see there. English Australian. Oh, hang on. Oh, yes, no, it would be classed English Australian, wouldn't it? Next. Uh, yeah, we'll put it onto there. I'm not going to bother about any of that. I'll just call it Solus 3 for now. Six characters. All right.
That's what you want. Confirm all that. Looks good. Confirm that. Well, the installation is much faster so far. Originally, when I did this, as I said some months ago, I had nothing but trouble with it actually trying to not just install here onto um, ESXi, but also onto a physical machine. So I'm hoping that it will um, run better. We'll go into uh, full screen mode for this, I think. Be a little bit. Uh, a little bit better. Hopefully you guys have had a nice Friday night after either a week like I had, a worse week or a marginally better week. Just while this is installing, it's funny when you get to, you know, sort of my age or maybe a bit older that, you know, when you were younger and in your teens and, you know, very early 20s that, um, you know, Friday night meant getting out onto the slops and the turps and pretty much writing yourself off and that. And you get to you get to about where I am in life now and, you know, by 10.30 at night, you, you, you're sitting there on the couch stumped up in front of the tea going, I think I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I don't drink like I used to now anyway. Well, so far the installation seems to be a vast improvement on a few, number of months ago now. I, I, I had awful trouble trying to get it to go this far. So we'll go through. I, I must say, if you really want a, um, you know, another another point of view on this operating system, I will. Uh, I'd suggest go and have a look at English Bob. He, as I said, he swears by this. He reckons it's a wonderful operating system. Um. Of what I've seen from his reviews, it's... I, I admit that I have a big, as you all know, I have a massive soft spot for um, Ferran OS by default. It is my default Linux operating system to go to. And I, I've said that to the Ferran OS dev that if I'm not going for Windows... Um, you know, for someone, I'm, I'm trying to push them over to uh, Ferran OS, but we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. What I do find interesting with Solus at the moment, too, is the fact that uh, Firefox is there by default, unlike um, Ferran. But, you know, look, it is, it is what it is, and I always go for Ferran, as you know. All right, let's uh, let's restart this. I'll just get out of um, out of full screen for a moment because it won't it may not, it may crack the sads when we try to uh, increase the uh, screen resolution so that we can have a good look at it. Well, right off the bat, I think it's been a far better installation. It certainly has been quicker. Let's get in and have a uh, have a look around the backyard IT, as we say. Give it the backyard IT treatment in a review. The first thing we need to do is adjust that screen resolution. Now, this is where I got aggro with it. Um, that at the moment. Okay. So, we've got a start menu very similar to that of uh, Windows. Let's, um, okay, so we've got desktop icons, we've got the home directory, 
um, recycle bin or trash as they call it. I think it's that done. I want to change that screen resolution if I can. Let's get a slightly better resolution. Hopefully that'll. Uh... Oh, no, that's not the right resolution either, is it? Hang on. There it is. Apply. That's better. All right. Let's get into full screen mode. All right. Well, that's a better resolution. Now we can actually have a good look at it look at it it's not taking up the whole screen all right so let's get in and have a look at some of the accessories you get you get calculator obviously you get uh, a file access and organize your files you've got uh, G edit text editor for editing text files graphics we've obviously got LibreOffice draw internet Firefox by default uh, Mozilla's Thunderbird by default as well a uh, transmission BitTorrent client and obviously hex chat Office, it's LibreOffice by default. You'll see there we've got Calc, Draw, Impress, and Writer, which would be uh, Word, PowerPoint, uh, and possibly Excel. Sound and video, we've got uh, Gnome, Gnome MPV and Rhythmbox Music Player. Um, me personally, I'll probably be adding uh, VLC to that by default. Some of the sundries, we've got the iBus preferences and the print settings. Your system settings are numerous here. You'll see we've got background, we've got Bluetooth, we've got colors, time and date, details. Hardware drivers to um, update and install hardware drivers. Notification settings, software settings, your sound settings, universal, and then the Wacom tablet users. And System tools, we've got the budgie desktop settings, the deconf editor, your gparted partition editor for drives. <coughs> um, if you've put this into a physical machine and you want to set up partitions um, after you've put the drive in, you'd obviously use that. Universal, universal access, we've got onboard. Utilities, we've got the archive manager, you can check your disk usage, disk information. A PDF document viewer, I think that's what that is, an image viewer. Your keyword, your password and keys, screenshots, and then your system monitor, and others. It's just the onboard settings. Let's uh, let's go and see what um, software center. Let's go and have a look at some of the software that's available. A very gnome-like software interface here. For those who be familiar with gnome, you'll be fairly familiar with this too. We've also got some de desktop more themes that we can add to the desktop. We've got multimedia and graphics. You'd obviously have to manually add VLC there, I think. Oh no. And we've got all sorts of stuff. Make sure that we can, and there's there's VLC, so you can definitely get VLC for it. Graphics, you've got plenty of graphics stuff that you can um, get your hands on there. As you can see, a lot of a lot of updates available on added software. You've got general multimedia software available to you. A fairly full featured software package, but the raw install still gives you plenty to get yourself uh, get yourself started with. You see there, we've got update. You can um, set up your update policies. Some of the third party apps, we've got obviously the Android Studio available to you. You've got uh, Flash Player plugins, GNOME, which, as you know, I'm not a fan. You've got Google Earth, which you can put in. You've got Google Talk. Plex Media Server, if you want to run Solus as your Plex Media Server with DLNA uh, availability. Skype, Spotify also in there as well. And you can add WPS Office if you don't like Libri, which is what I would do personally because I'm not a fan of Libri Office. Some of your settings here. Fairly, fairly good so far. 
We'll go and have a look at some of the background availabilities in the system. As I said, it's very gnome-like setup. It's like the coast of Victoria there, down along the Great Ocean Road. Well, that's the nearest thing I'm going to get to Victoria, so we'll use that. <laughs> I don't think that is the coast of Victoria, but it, it definitely looks like uh, travelling along the Great Ocean Road. We're going to have a look at some of the budgie desktop settings as well. And you can see there you can add network service, trash, mounted volumes, if you wish. You can see I've got no mounted volumes there. Auto start app, so you can actually add auto start. So if you want to start up your, when you start your Solus Linux system, you can um, add specific apps to fire up straight away, such as Firefox and maybe LibreOffice Writer or Thunderbird Mail. Got our widgets there. Well, so far it seems to be. Um, it seems to be better. You see here we've also got uh, settings. You can change the size if you wish to make it smaller or larger. Dark mode if you wish. Oh, dock mode. So that would be probably also handy for those that like macOS. You can have it set up like a macOS system, although with Mac you don't normally have the time and your power and volume there are always up here, but this looks like normal. I'd probably just stick with that personally you can add your shadows and everything we're going to have a look at some of the panel settings available if it will actually go into panel edit mode which it's not going to go into panel edit mode ah that's a new one so we've got notifications up there so very similar to Mac from the top and Windows from the bottom volume control all this type of stuff here um, fairly good. Let's go and check what version of Firefox it's running by default. Well, I'm marginally more impressed with this than I was with um, with the original one. And it is the Firefox 55. It is not ESS ESR, which is interesting. It's uh, proper Firefox. I'm still bewildered. That's interesting. Linux seems to be going to Firefox and Oracle for Solaris. And I think Oracle Linux are going for ESR. But at least this is 5501, so that's a good thing. Plus, you can sign into your Firefox sync account. reasonably good. We'll go and check out Thunderbird. I actually haven't been into Thunderbird for a while. I haven't used Thunderbird for a long, long time. Very long time now. Okay. I'll configure it later. We're just going to have a sticky beak at this. So Thunderbird doesn't look any different at all, which is nice. Well, I've got to say... So far, I am actually reasonably impressed. Um, we'll just find the Synaptic Package Manager, which I haven't managed to find yet. Um, oh, oh, I see. It's all actually in here. Okay. Going to have a look at some of the internet. You've also got other... Uh, mail clients available to you like Evolution, Exchange Web to connect it to, obviously 365, Download Managers, IRCs, Remote Management Software and Networking Utilities. Fairly impressed. System Software as well. You can see there you've got all sorts of libraries and boot utilities and system utilities available to you as well. Some of the Office Software more text editors, some financial stuff there, some scientific stuff, so fairly, fairly good. It's not too bad. Gaming on Solus for the gamers. You can see we've got some action games, some console, main game collection, role-playing card games. I assume you can put Steam into this. Uh, we'll go and have a look at some of the third party. Oh, no. Um, strategy games, card games, 
main game collection, plenty of games there. You can see all that for Gnome. Well, a vast improvement on the original one. Absolutely vast improvement on my original shot at this. Um, I'm not sure whether it'd be any good for server stuff, but we'll uh, we'll see down the track what it's like. Okay, well, I will do some more testing with it over the next few days and put up another video after I've done some testing, but so far I'm reasonably impressed. It seems fairly quick. The setup wasn't too bad. The reboot was pretty good. Far, as I said, a vast improvement on the original um, video I did some months ago. They've made a few leaps and bounds. See there, we can shut down from there, so that makes life easy. You don't have to go into... Yeah, can we edit? No, we can see now that's see that irritates me. There's no right click down there, but I don't know why. Anyway, there we go. System setup and product review of Solus 3 Budgie. And we've given it the backyard IT treatment. Reasonably good system. Um, time will tell after I've done a little bit more testing, but uh, we'll see how it pans out later on. Anyway, stick around. A couple of other videos coming up today, and don't forget the live stream at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time tonight. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.